Hello and welcome back to SAP Plant Maintenance Training. This is Farooq from QBRP. So in, in the last session we did a goods issue of a non-stock item and in this session what we are going to do is a goods issue for stock item. So we are going to see the process how this is done. For a stock item, uh, say we have a maintenance order where a stock item has been kept as a component. So before we proceed any, on anything, we need to make sure that we have got the MRP views of the material have been set up properly. So let's take a look at the MRP views of the material. I will go into MM03 transaction because my material has already been set up. I just need to verify that the setup is correct. So the plant is 1000, S lock is 0001. So MRP type is PD, which means it is relevant for MRP. PD is MRP relevant. Then what we have is EX lot for lot. So we always buy of the quantity that we need. MRP controller, we have given some number here. Uh, procurement type is F, which is external procurement, meaning is a purchase order. We don't have any in-house production. And then we have got availability check as 02, which is individual requirement. So we do not, I mean, combine the requirement. So every requirement is taken as it, as it is separately. So the material master is correct. So the next step will be to create a order and then assign the component. So we are going to use this component in the order. So let me go into uh, transaction IW31 to create the order. So the order type is same that we have been using. The equipment is also the same that we have used in the previous example. Plant business area, press enter. So everything is already picked up automatically. Uh, my text is replace the keyboard with Microsoft keyboard. Press enter, go into the operations. In the operations, I can give the time and duration, etc. Press enter. Then I go into the component and I give my component here, give one quantity. So this is the item category which I said previously will determine if it is a stock item or a non-stock item. So as this is a stock item, so we take L as item category. And we give this as lock also because this is sitting in stock. And we do not do the back flush indicator because we want to use a separate process to do a goods issue. Uh, you might remember that we have done, we have some, sometimes we have a component where we did a back flush. In that case, the system will automatically do a goods issue at the time of confirmation. So, but uh, for this one, we don't want to do the confirmation by that way. We want to see how to do a goods issue of a stock item. Uh, we have done this one. So, we will approve the permit. And then we will do release. So once we release, it will do cost determination, availability check, and it's going to release the order after we update it. So let's save it. Order number 820042 has been created. Let me just correct this thing. We have already released the order. If we go back into the order and do a display here, MD04 will show requirement against the PM order number and order reservation has been created. Because this is a stock item, so we have created a reservation. While when it was a non-stock item, we created directly a requisition. So a reservation, outer reservation, we will have a requisition. Then from requisition, we will have a purchase order. So it will be like uh, PM order. From PM order we have reserva reservation. From reservation we have 
purchase requisition from purchase requisition we have purchase order so this is how the chain will process so let's see if we go if i go into the component select general data it has got a reservation number and then if i go into mb52 to see the stock situation so there is no stock zero quantity so let's do md04 in md04 what we can see here is that available quantity is zero, uh, zero we have a requirement of order reservation so what we need to do is we need to convert the order reservation uh, from the order reservation we need to create a requisition the process to create a requisition is we need to run mrp the transaction to run mrp is md02 so let's go into md02 let me change this planning mode to 3 what i am saying is delete the previous planning record and create new planning record system is asking me that everything is correct your input parameters are correct i say yes press enter so what i had asked for create purchase acquisition it has created a purchase acquisition I can go back into MD04. Press enter. Now it shows me a purchase acquisition. From MD04 also we can go directly to create a purchase order. So we have got we have done MD02, we are in MD04 and we can see a purchase acquisition. So we can go into ME21N and create the order directly or we can go here, press this magnifying glass and say convert to purchase order. It will also take us into ME21N. So see it has brought us into the purchase order create transaction. We have got something called document overview on. Uh, it's missing the organization. I just put 1000 i will select this one and drop it into the shopping basket or a shopping trolley it wants a vendor i will use the previous vendor that i've been using press enter okay it's saying there is no price so let's give the price say 25 dollars or euro whatever and i will close this one so now my purchase order is complete and I can just save it. Purchase order has been created. I can go back into my MD04. Press enter. So now the purchase requisition has gone and it has been replaced by a purchase order. So let's receive this order number 803. So let's receive this order. We need to go into MyGo and do a GR against the purchase order. Let's go into the transaction called MyGo. We need good receipt against purchase order. Purchase order number is this. Put the purchase order number here. Press enter. Material, quantity, where. So you see it has activated the story location now. If I do not put it, it will give me an error. Purchase data, partner, the vendor account assignment is blank. There is no account assignment because this is a stock item. I will put the S lock press enter and then say save it's 
So once a material document is created, it should update my stock quantity. So I should have now one quantity of stock. Let's go into the stock transaction MB52. Execute. So we have got one quantity. If I go back into my MD04, it should now only have reservation. So I'm back in MD04. It is saying there's one quantity available, one is required. Net is zero. Okay, cool. So the next step for us is to do a goods issue. Let's go back into the order IW33. Uh, go back into the component, select the component, general data. So this is against this reservation we need to go to the issue. But uh, so the first step before we go there we need to do a confirmation of order. So let's do the conf order confirmation. IW41 press enter. Because we did not put any back flush indicator so there is no material and also we don't want to uh, goods issue the material against this confirmation we want to do it separately so we will say confirm confirm this order it has confirmed this order and if you go back and take a look at MB52 our stock is still there so what we need to do is we need to do a goods issue to the reservation. This is how we are going to issue a stock item to the maintenance order. So let's go to the transaction MyGo. So we need to do goods issue against the reservation. So let's change this one goods issue. And then change here to reservation. Our reservation number is this one. Pick up the reservation number. Press enter. So it should pick up all the data. So it's, uh, it's going to be goods issued from this location. Quantity is one. Material is this one. Reservation is this one. Account, account assignment is uh, order. So order number is here now. Item OK and we post it. So once we post it, then it should go into order. Our cost should get updated in the order and our stock situation will change from 1 to 0. So if I open another screen here with the stock, go into MB52. So this has already been posted, the document is already there and if I look at my stock, 0 and if I go into my order IW33, look at the costs, actually have been posted. So that's about it, uh, this is the process of how you can do a good issue of a stock item. To a, process, uh, to a maintenance order. In the next session, we are going to look at how to do a goods issue for a serial managed item. So, there is a big difference. So, I will see you guys in the next session. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you. Bye.